Welcome back Thursdays once again, man. We got a 76, 77 Pistol Pete along with a 66, 67 Willis Reed. And the Willis Reed up here, man, going for a buy now of 443,000 coins, man. 92 overall, in my opinion, a power forward, man, just with his size and all. And I know this dude was a beastly rebounder in an 83 mid range, so pretty nice. I want to see those low post moves. What are they looking like? Come on now. Post took 95. All right, what's that? Rebounding 96 in 98. So going to be a beast on the boards. He has a mid-range and a hook shot, man. Low post defense and 92. Help defense 94. So regardless of his dudes overall, he is going to be a straight beast down in the low block. And there are no Pete's on the auction block available. So let's go try to pull this, man. And we got 200k VC to spend, man. I didn't have any time this week to play 2k with work and all. So got to spend that VC. And for some reason, man, I'm feeling that far left card. Oh, never mind, never mind. But a Goldie to start it off. No, who we grabbing? Starting off with Costa Kufis. But how about Stephen Curry last night, man? Straight up going bananas on us, dropping 50 points in our him and Clay Thompson, the best duo in the NBA right now, regardless of position. You know, you could go, for instance, Damian Lillard, Lamarcus Aldridge, LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, but no lie, man. Klay Thompson, he has been straight killing it this year in the MVP conversation, in my opinion. And then you're talking about Stephen Curry, who honestly, probably the one of the two best point guards in the NBA. For me personally, I think Westbrook, just the way he's been playing this year, especially when Kevin Durant's been out. Westbrook is just an, another animal. When he's the go-to guy, he knows it's his team that night. Westbrook seems to get a triple-double pretty much every time. Kevin Durant is, oh, oh, didn't want to buy that pack, but... And that's why for me personally, I think if Westbrook, for instance, got traded or, you know, whatever, because a lot of speculation Durant isn't even going to be like, you know, not necessarily not going to be there, but he has a lot of options to sign. Apparently, the Wizards are a really top commodity for him. I mean, with Bradley Beal, then you're talking about John Wall, KD, that could be a pretty sick trio. When Westbrook is the guy, he just seems to, at least for me personally, the best point guard in the NBA when he knows it's his team and he knows he is the guy, he's just on another other level but let me know down below in the comments man if you guys had to have one point guard to build the team around you couldn't have another superstar who would you pick would you want maybe a Steph Curry who obviously can just light it up like no one's business a Westbrook a triple double machine or there's Chris Paul man still in my opinion you'll probably the best defensive point guard in the NBA but I don't know the Clippers are ju just seem off this year man Blake Griffin kind of turned into a more of a mid-range jumper which, uh, I, I miss Lob City, man. I, his, I miss him and DJ just going bananas, running the floor every night. And can we please get an Onyx? Jesus. No, man. I don't even know how much VC we are at. Damn, we're already almost halfway through. Haven't even got an Onyx yet. And two at the point guard, man. You got John Wall leads all point guards in double doubles, I believe, with 28 after last night. John Wall, man. He's getting no love this year, but he's been a straight up animal straight up beast this year and finally you know this year and last year really just kind of came out man he was kind of a bust his first couple years had a lot of injuries but now he's kind of got that mid-range jump shot under control and really learned how to play that point guard position but let me know down below man if you had to have that one point guard to start your team with who would you go with in onyx packs step your game up man we are uh, oh more than halfway through still haven't gotten anything good i mean we did get the anthony davis but now we're just getting the spencer haws and the hawks win streak finally came to an end but they all their starting five got named the players of the the month which is pretty dang sick considering a starting five is sharing the player of the month it just shows how good of a like their, their coaching is how good of just a team they are and how serious are you guys taking the hawks for the title run man because I, a lot of people are, you know, Chicago, which obviously, I mean, Chicago, if Derrick Rose can just start playing like him old self or even just a little bit, I mean, he's scoring great, but his turnover rate right now is ridiculously high with Gasol and Noah down low and Gasol. My goodness, how about that dude? 34 years old, starting on the All-Star team for his first time. That dude is straight up killing it this year. Then Jimmy Butler stepping up. I mean, the Bulls, they are terrifying. And then the Cavaliers right now, obviously... They've been on, what, like an 11-12 game win streak at the moment. They've been just straight killing it ever since LeBron's returned. But where do you guys have the Hawks in the East? Are they a serious title contender? Because I really like what they do, man. They kind of remind me of the Spurs. Obviously, not as much star power down there, but wow, three golds and not one of them could have been a gold player 2K. 
But I think that's what's scary about the Hawks on any given night. You do not know who's going to be their go-to guy because they have Paul Millsap, who in my opinion, one of the better players, you know, one of the better power forwards, man. He's been straight up killing it this year. Al Horford's been amazing for the Hawks. Jeff Teague, probably the most underrated point guard in the NBA, in my opinion. He's been a straight up beast. I mean, the Hawks are just a scary team just because I don't feel like if you shut one guy down, they have four or five other guys that can come in and do, and do the same thing. That's what, you know, what's scary about them. God damn, man. Not even one Onyx at a 200 KVC. And we only have, what, like two eggs. Pretty much, I don't, we can only, oh, shoot. Never mind. Spending the MT out here. And it's kind of lame, though, about the Onyx packs, man. It's kind of, it's kind of a bummer getting Tracy and Vince Carter last week and then I mean, Willis Reed, obviously, we saw his stats, man. He's a beast, but it's just kind of a letdown when you're getting Tracy McGrady, Vince Carter, probably some of the greatest players of my generation. I mean, it's just kind of like, uh, it's, it's hard to get excited anymore, but let's go! Onyx Jason Richardson finally towards the end of the VC. Let's go check this man out. And we got 05, 06, and Jason Richardson, and no lie, man. I remember back in the day, like 2K9, 2K10. This dude was like the best player in the game. I know his driving dunk is a 99. What is his shooting stats? Didn't even look. So he has an 84 three-pointer with a 99 dunking. This dude, I don't care about his overall. He is just going to be a straight-up animal out there. And two, man, if you have a little bit of free time, check out my video from yesterday, man. I kind of had a, a mention of some of a weekly challenge ideas for Ronnie and LD and the 2K team. And a lot of you guys who actually saw the video said the ideas were pretty dang bomb. So that was pretty sick. So if you didn't see it yesterday, man, go check it out. I think it's like a two, three minute video. It ain't that long. And dang it, getting Brian Roberts. What do we, how much VC do we have left? We have 6K. What pack is worth 6K? We'll just buy the most expect. Oh, 6K, six, 6.5. Six, wow, just off. So we got a green pack. We'll go with the we'll go with the legendary green pack. We'll try to clutch it out. We can pull two of these bad boys. Hopefully, at least don't give me a bronze. No bronze up in here, but of course, I'm getting the bronze. All right, last pack. And finally, man, let me see if I can get a good card out of the green packs. I hear all the time. You guys get great pulls out of the green packs, and I'm over here. I can't get shenanigans, but bronze players getting Dick Cunningham to end the packs. Let's see if there's any Onyx Pistol Pizza. I want to check his stats out, and no, not quite yet, but no lie. That Willis Reed, if you have some MT, that dude can be a straight-up beast at the power forward position, man. But make sure you guys hit that like button for me. If you want to see some more pack openings, subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you guys next time.